negara apa yang akan terlibat dalam perang Yahezkiel 38? Mari kita simak penjelasan dari ahli arkeologi dan sejarah. Well, let's go to the prophet Ezekiel and uh, I'm going to ask you, Ron, in a minute to do some interpretation, but I'm going to read this passage. But all you guys that uh, went to Dallas Theological Seminary, they actually make you take Greek and Hebrew. You actually have to learn it. So what I'm reading in English, you've already looked at every word in Hebrew, all right? So I'm going to give, ask you for the translation in English for my audience. But here's the, what Ezekiel says in chapter 38, 1 through 6. Ezekiel says, The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog of the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal. We're going to translate these into these geographical areas into modern names in just a minute. The prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal, and prophesy against him and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal. I will turn you about and put hooks in your jaws, and I'll bring you out and all your army, horses, and horsemen, all of them splendidly attired, a great company with buckler and shield, all of them wielding swords. And he names the nations of Persia, Ethiopia, and Put with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer, another nation, with all its troops. Beth Togarma, another nation, from the remote parts of the north, with all its troops. Many peoples with you. Now, Ron, if you put modern names on the same geographical areas that Ezekiel was talking about, if you translate into those same geographical areas today, what are the nations that I just read? Well, as we do not just studies in Hebrew, but archaeology and historical studies, we find that Rosh is Russia. We don't say that just because it sounds alike. We say that because we have actual evidence, including inscriptions on the wall in various caves and so forth, referring to words very similar to Rosh, which point to the people that live in Russia today. As well, in Ezekiel 38, Rosh is said to be to the uttermost north of Israel. And when you draw a line straight up from Israel, well, you come upon Russia. So there's pretty good evidence for that. Yeah. Go to now, Magog. What, well, Magog refers to the southern portion of, of Russia. If you can imagine Russia right here, go a little bit south where you're going to see the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. There are mountainous regions around these areas around these lakes, and it's all the Stan nations. Yeah, let me read your book. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. That's the land that we're talking about. Well, that's right. If you have the Caspian Sea and just go directly east, you've got Kazakhstan and then due south is Uzbekistan, and then due south of that is Turkmenistan. All of these are Islamic. Yeah. And that means that they're going to have a motive to join Iran and other Muslim nations against Israel. How about Meshach? Well, Meshach and Tubal, as well as Gomer and Beth Togarma, all refer to Turkey. Now, what does that tell you, John? It tells you that Turkey is going to be a major player in this invasion. In fact, as we're going to see, Russia, Iran, and Turkey are the biggies when it comes to this invasion. Yeah, how about Persia? Well, speaking of Iran, mm -hmm. Persia is Iran. In fact, Persia became Iran back in 1935, so there's no question about that. But you've also got uh, uh, Libya, which is Put, and you've got Ethiopia, which is Sudan. Now, all of these are Islamic, and they're going to join with Russia against Israel. And by the way, John, there has been precedent set for the Russians joining with Arab and Muslim nations against Israel. You might remember back in 1973 when Syria and Egypt and other Muslim countries were attacking Israel. Guess who provided the intelligence and the weapons? It was Russia. Yeah. So folks, get this list in your mind. Actually, Russia, Iran, Turkey, Sudan, Libya, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, 
Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and possibly Afghanistan, Algeria, Tunisia, and many nations with you.